of the quest for Power Nine from and MDG you're first. That, right. that is Killian Cooley, once again undefeated, heading into a round on twelve posts. Yeah, this is almost like a uh, a staple of Snapcaster's coverage. If he gets the 3 0, we're probably going to put Killian on camera, and Killian's really good at playing 12 posts. So yeah, he's the best 12 post player I've ever seen, which, to be fair, he's not high praise, but it's he is the best. Nonetheless, yeah. yeah. It's like I tell people all the time I say, you know, I might be the best high tide player left in the world now that uh, Feline doesn't play, but that's not saying much because there's only two. <laughs> like, <laughs> only two people still putting up with that nonsense. It's debatable if I'm even the best DT player in Maryland. <laughs> like, and all I do is play DT. Yeah, see, that's what you get for playing real decks. You, uh, I didn't know when I was. Competition. When I picked DT, I thought it was just like, oh, yeah, this is a niche deck. Like, no one plays it. And then I realized everyone plays it. <laughs> It's like literally all over the place because everyone sees it and they're like, oh, it's yeah, just exactly. deck. Just like 12 Post used to eat Miracles Alive, I bet it eats 4 Color Alive. I can't imagine ever beating that deck. No, I can't imagine. Uh, Cole against Command, destroy your L. We don't actually know that uh, Jeremy is on Sneak and Show. We just assume because that's what he's been on for a while. And, and he's on Sneak and Show. Omni, I think. Sneak Omni. <laughs> Probably. Well, Excuse me. Died. He's got a show and tell in hand a Gitaxian probe. Uh, thank you, Maui. Oh, he's back to blue green. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, what does that mean? What does it bring in? So, what does it do? So he tried colorless green post the last time, but Fair. now it's blue green because he has brainstorm. Does, does it play fetch lands? <laughs> if anyone needs any evidence of East Coast corruption. All right, probe. Let's see it. Yeah, you know the casual uh, one land one crop hand. rotation expedition map. He Double. can't show and tell. He just locked off show and tell. You can't show and tell against Emrakul the Aeon's Torn. What a beautiful... If Killian draws a Pithing Needle, isn't this the equivalent of the Revoker Caracas lock? And he can crop rotation for Caracas. No and tell. What in the world is this matchup? You can't... <sighs> oh, we gotta start the timer. Whoops. My apologies. He's... Yeah, so he can crop rotation. This match is definitely going to the time. He can crop rotation for Caracas, or he can map for it, and he's got uh, Emrakul to shut down Show and Tell. He just needs to find a needle to shut off Sneak Attack. Ladies and gentlemen. Legacy. What a world we're living in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Killian is a, now, Jeremy, a regular fixture. Jeremy of has Omni in his deck, we think. Oh, my bad. There's the Sneak Attack, by the way. And his, he just sealed off a Ponder. So he, he needs dark. that. But the problem is, he needs the sneak attack in order to actually win the game, but he... Oh, he can cast it next turn. He can cast it next turn, but he can't activate it next turn. I think he only has one red source. Brainstorm. Like, he just throws the brainstorm Brainstorm. out there. He's like, it's resolved. Oh, and he literally... Oh, what a great day. So, Sylvan Library and two lands. Well, you don't have deckless yet, but I believe I saw one while he was shuffling. Chris told me I could go grab him, so actually, you keep commenting. I'm going to go grab the deckless. Slam the brainstorm. Hey, Hayden. Welcome to the chat. The old brainstorm fetch light interaction. And now so he can crop rotate for Caracas to buy himself some time. Herb again. Did you keep the Emrakul? He did. So he kept Emrakul, library, trop, double uh, candle. Two candle is casually worth a thousand dollars. <laughs> well, the Jeremy's deck is upside down and he hasn't fixed it. Uh, I was deciding. I don't think he wants any of those cards. I would shuffle. He needs to get to sneak ASAP. But it looks like he might keep. He kept. All right, we so, have deck lists. Jeremy is not on the omnis in the main or the side. Jeremy has no omniscience. He has three in the side. I'm sorry, but he has no main deck omni, so he might just be cold to this. Killian Cooley once again with his signature move of writing his deck list on the back of it's a math, math homework. homework. <laughs> and I, I spelled his name wrong again. I apologize. He's Killian. I just think it's like double L, like killing you. Yeah, so uh, a cool, uh, Jeremy dude, pondered and it just saw a bunch of nonsense, but he kept it, which I was very confused about. I guess he thinks you need sneak attack. sneak attack. It's the only way you're going to win the game. But Killian can crop rotate for Caracas. 
that's only a one thing answer. How are you going to win this game otherwise? You can't show until ever. True. I mean, I'm not saying. I think next turn, in fact, he can go um, pedal. Oh, pedal, uh, pedal sneak attack. If if I told you that one card from Hour of Devastation was making an appearance in twelve post, what would it be? What would Hour you think? Of promise. Nope. Yeah, that's actually a really good answer. Yeah. But no. Uh, I don't know what. Nimble obstructionist. What does that do? The bird that stifles. Not when it enters the battlefield, you cycle it to stifle. Okay, so by the way, this Candelabra of Thanos is a great play. Um, unfortunately, I think Killian's about to get annihilated because Jeremy has Volcanic and Lotus Petal. Um, and Killian has no actual answer. Bummer. So Jeremy takes two. I think Jeremy has an Emrakul. He has a show, he has a Grizzle Brand. So he's going to put in Sneak Attack. Oh, bummer. Come on. That's not the way I want it to end. Sorry. <laughs> Crack this. Grizzle Brand, he can do it once. He can one time draw seven cards. Gruesome misplay. Ouch. Yeah, all right. Whiff. Whiff, whiff, whiff. I mean, if he hits a pedal. Pedal Emmer cool. Yep. That's that's the line. I mean, I don't think he hit it. Dude, and dude. At, actually now afterwards, how does Jeremy win through a candelabra? I guess he can just like counter the well, crop. Well, he's, he's probably fa yeah, exactly. He's probably found counter magic at this point to stop the crop. I he can't stop the expedition map though. He can't stop the map. He can't stop the map. Yeah, he needs three red sources. Wow, the candle Caracas deck. What a genius play. Jeremy just gains seven, so he's and then he's gonna take seven more. So you don't need to change it all. He's about to draw seven more cards. All right, I'm gonna draw a hundred cards. Try to find an answer to what you're doing. Wow. What other kind of spice we got in here? We have one basic forest, one island. So not nearly as many basic forests as we saw last time Killian was on camera. But he has the full four trops, four misties, and a verdant. Uh, same tutor targets, Caracas, Bog, Ayavug, and Glacial Chasm. How does how does Killian win, though? I get how he stops Jeremy from Just winning. Just cast Semarkul. Then that, can't that card get countered? No. Can't be carried, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> he literally can't do anything. How are you going to cast it? You have three tropical islands. Well, he's not doing it anytime soon. I didn't say anything. Oh! What? <gasps> what? Three candles in the deck. Okay. Three crop rotations. Right. What What did he cut those to make room for, you might ask? Mm-hmm. Grapple with the past! Oh, my God! Pauper all-star. Not even. Oh, my God. Pauper fringe play. Sometimes standard all-star. Wow. Four copies. One Warping Wear, one Moments Piece, one Cyclonic Rift. Four, he has three show and tells of his own. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Discard a billion cards. He points to the show and tells. He's like, you sure you don't want to hang on to that? You might want it. Wow. Ryan, if you're watching this, I want you to know. Oh, is that? Glacial Chasm Forest Crop Rotation. So he has double crop. I don't really think he needs a crop. Four? I think he took a crop, but what he needs to do is crack. Did he take four or no? He took none. He just drew one card. Because okay. he's going to fetch anyway with the expedition map, and he doesn't want any of those cards. He's, he's, he's getting Crocus. I'm getting Crocus. I'm playing Crocus. I'm passing the turn. Yeah, Jeremy has no outs. The game is over. Jer Jeremy just needs a pedal. See, look, he's going to put Emrakul in, and he's going to say, okay, before combat, I'm going to bounce that, and then he's going to candelabra it. Bounce it. Okay. I'll put it back in. Take that, nerd. Uh, candelabra of Thanos? I think Jeremy didn't see the play. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, Jer Jeremy seems a little caught off guard Ladies by that. and gentlemen, the legacy format. You lose. Unfortunately, Jeremy has another Pollute dealt in, so I actually think he can next turn fetch and play But rounds. Killian has another candle. He probably has a Porcival, I would imagine. Oh, uh, boo. But he, he has Crop Rotate. Dude. Crop Rotate for what? He doesn't. He didn't have Petal. But if he finds Petal... Crop Rotate for, for Chasm. No, he does not have omniscience. I was mistaken. I thought when he was shuffling, what I thought it What does Chasm do? Prevents all damage that will be dealt to you. But it doesn't stop you from attacking? Mm -mm. Damn it, does anything stop you from attacking? For being attacked, you mean? Yes. Uh, nothing in his deck. No, not like this. Kill him. Yeah, you can beat a lot of things. You just can't beat fetch land, unfortunately. Oh, you know, so so Splashing Blue gives you access to a lot of really good sideboard cards, yeah. you know, from a deck like this. Uh... I think he's going to force that candle. I would hope I would hope Jeremy sees that he needs to force that he's candle. He's fingering it, but I don't know. He needs to know that that's he's got to force that candle. 
But is it really the end? No, he only has the one Crocus. Yeah. Ooh, here's what he can do. No, okay. never mind. <laughs> yes, let's say. Brian's trying to look for lines. I mean, he Grizzle doesn't have Brian, the maze. Guys, Grizzle Brian's a hell of a card. I'm sorry. Like he got rid of the maze. Oh, you drew another force of will off of that. Yeah, you, now you can expend. Can't handle the candle. <laughs> yeah. So. But yeah. I mean, anyway, as I was saying, pedal too. So yeah, this is very much over. Um. But that's that's not necessarily the worst thing. I mean, that's you know that's life. That's you play against a combo deck when you're playing twelve post. You might just get stomped on sometimes, and uh, I think. I think that that's what's happened here, unfortunately. And I think Killian knows that he's on the no-outer. His crop rotation can't get anything relevant. even if it... He's not even dead to Emrakul, though. Well, now uh, he is. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess he could have kept what? Karakas. Didn't he take seven from the Grizzlebrand? So shouldn't he actually be at 13 Ooh, right now? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, okay, he is dead to Emrakul. Before, okay, this is it. Fet pedal. Let's go through these motions. Jeremy's at four, though. It's, I mean, he's just going to Emrakul here. He's going to Emrakul, it's going to get bounced. He's going to Emrakul again, it's going to get bounced. He's going to Emrakul a third time. Perhaps a fourth. He could if he wanted to. I don't think he needs to. What a bummer. Is it? I mean, yeah. that just Killian's just, the hero. Sure, Killian may be the hero, but like Jeremy. Excuse me for. I mean, it's a great map. We knew what we were getting into when we put Sneaky Joe on camera against this deck. Thank you, Nem Hentai, for the follow. Although, uh, you know, interesting name choice. Yeah. Oh, he got basic. So I play two Volks. Oh, he discarded one earlier. Mm. The pedal solves all the problems, though. I don't know if he had that option. I don't think he had the Emrakul in hand. Uh, HC Fox. I think if he did, then he should have. I agree. Why is he tanking? I have no idea. I can't think of a way. Oh, he called Judge? Did he pass the turn? What's happening here? Did we miss something? Does he not understand that he has three red swords? Did he get rid of his Emrakul? No. Does anyone know what's going on? That doesn't matter. He has pedal. He has pedal, double red swords, and he has a Caracas. His opponent just said go. Oh, maybe he just doesn't know that he can beat it. Maybe he thinks that he needs both. Needs both what? I'm baffled. This game is over. I'm boozled. And Jer and Jeremy just doesn't see it. Oh, he doesn't understand. Candelabra gets tapped. But Killian definitively tapped it. And regardless, you should make him do it. I mean, Killian, yeah. I guess he just doesn't want to crack the pedal. If he had, I think if he had a third Valk, he would have tried for it there because there's no downside. But because it's a pedal and it's a it's a temporary mana source. He sees five candles in the candlestick. He knows he needs five red sources. <laughs> this is nuts. I'm sorry, uh, Jeremy is. We're gonna legacy uh, format, ladies and gentlemen. I drew your day. I'm gonna keep. I mean, if he it. finds a pedal, he'll go for it. I assume. Bottom both out of here. Period in again. Boozled again. I don't understand. I'm really confused right now. He has this game locked up, and I think Killian knows it. This is why you make your opponents play it out, though. Just want to point that out. This is why you do it. That's what they do. Well, to be fair, Jeremy doesn't know what kind of tricks are up the sleeve. Maybe there's some kind of land that you can He has for. Force and Preordain in hand, and an Emrakul. Is he counting and starting to realize it? <laughs> Maybe Jeremy doesn't know what a mono artifact is. Oh, oh, oh. If he, you do understand, this game is hinging on the fact that Jeremy Bowman just needs to reach across the table, pick up the card, Candelabra of Tonos. Yeah, here, here's something. Well, reading it doesn't tell you because it's hidden in the definition of the tap. word mono. No, it doesn't. It's it a mono a artifact from back then. It does not have the symbol. Yep. And. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm this so is confused. It's like he out. saw the play and then he just said, nah, I'm good. Man. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm just boozled. 
<laughs> I'm so confused right now. I guess I hear the cloud post. If we are missing something, I'm so sorry, Jeremy, if you rewatch this and we're just missing it and he has a pithy needle that's like 16 miles off screen and we're just not seeing it. What would the needle name? It had to Lotus be, Petal. Uh, it's a mana ability. <laughs> Frexy Revoker. He's not attacking with it, though. Source of Spyglass. That's a pithing needle. But he can't cast it because if he is does... Is that a needle? Uh, he doesn't have a needle in the main. No, I'm saying that Sorcerer's Spyglass is a needle for that card on the board. No, but he doesn't have Spyglass. I said he doesn't. I think he just... He what? just library into it. He's looking He at doesn't it. have it in the 75. Oh, I thought he did. I thought you said Sorcerer's Spyglass. No, I said I'm wondering why he doesn't have that. Card's trash. In the 12 post deck? It's just in general. Duh. Okay. Now, there's just no reason. There's no reason anymore. He only has the ability to do it twice. There's no argument anymore. There's no reason for him not to Turn go for it. Turn five of Jeremy deciding not to activate his abilities. There's no longer a reason to not go for it with that pedal. I will be baffled. Oh, now he found Grizzle Band. That doesn't help any more than the Emerald does. All he needs to do is activate. It gets Karakas. Activate again, it gets Krakus again with the Candelabra. But then Jeremy, then Killian's tapped out and you have this Lotus Petal. What are you thinking about, Jeremy? Please. That thing is tapped. Yes, you can gesture to it. I'm savagely grizzled right now. <laughs> I don't comprehend. Hang this, on. This is what the Mark's Patriarch would call a mind boggle. Oh my god, I can't believe this. He's, ah, he's doing the math dead. for the fourth time. It's still <laughs> only one. It's, it's over, Jeremy. Please. I'm so sorry. This is why we can't stream MTG. Oh, it's Nick Tizio. What's up, dude? Hey, Nick. Best. It's not a slow roll, I also, promise the you. fact that Jeremy has taken, like, upwards of 80% of this match time is really just unfortunate. Killian's taking his turn quickly and just, like, moving on with life. Right, Activate. Here. Emrakul. Caracas. Emrakul. Caracas. Aha, uh -huh. here's where he gets it the third time. Please, just go for it, please. Oh, he's reaching for it. He did it. He did it. Okay. <sighs> We're going to have to talk to Jeremy well, after the smash. Th there's, no, there's no justifying it. Just fear. Of what? Of we did what? a thing. Yeah, this is why Snickers has a bad reputation. That was the first. You can't thing. even say. Oh wow! Look, look at Killian. So I'll, uh, you can read Killian's board in a second. <laughs> he ordered a card out so hard it fell out of sleep. You, I think he just has so uh, many cards. Yeah. So here's the thing. Before we go on, I just want to say this. Um, it's not like there. No one can even make the argument that oh, Jeremy was worried about crop rotation because he had forcible pitch. I think Jeremy just didn't understand the interaction, and that's fine. Candelabra is not a commonly paid card, played card in Legacy, and it's not one that makes a lot of sense. So, although we talked a lot about, oh my gosh, and that was hilarious that he didn't just win the game for several turns, it's not something that actually was like, a, like, yeah, you should know, but the fact that he didn't know is not completely unreasonable. Well, no, okay? he had probe. He had perfect information. He didn't know how Candelabra worked. But his opponent tapped it. But if he doesn't understand that that's how that works, if he just thinks you can f put man into it, if, you're n if he's not paying attention for a second, I'm saying it's a mistake, but it's not the most un egregious mistake ever. Except Killian tapped it. Like, it would be one thing to, like, think that it didn't do that, but then, he, like, once Killian taps it, then you know that the Sometimes clear. you're just not looking. You just see him, like, gesture to it, and you're just like, you don't even see him tap it to the side. Oh, All, right, All right, so let's look at uh, Killian's can we sideboard. his yeah. homework? Yeah. For What's certain numerical sideboard? values of C. The answer right. when we evaluate the integral. 1 over x squared and plus 6x plus C. I think you bored that in here. Yeah, definitely the integral comes in. Uh, the differentiable function. I don't function. like the arc tangent. It doesn't really solve a lot of the problems here. <laughs> but maybe this back of the paper will help. All right, so he has moments piece. Doesn't really help. I th I saw him throwing a trillion cards, so uh, surgical is definitely yeah, coming he could have even sneaked on the end step if he... <sighs> yeah, I don't... Okay. Uh, look, I was trying to help. Um, All right, we got cursing grips. We got surgicals. Warping Whale, Blue Blast, World Breaker, and the Tabernacle Pendulum. So Tabernacle... No, it doesn't. World Breaker... World Breaker does. Okay, World Breaker comes in, Blue Elemental Blast comes in, Warping Whale comes in, Cursing Grip comes in, Surgical Extraction comes in. Because your main deck is just so bad. <laughs> the event is up. in Glen Burnie, Maryland. It's uh, kind of a... Uh, maybe 30 minutes from D.C. Yep. 
really quickly um, from Jeremy's side. Annapolis. Jeremy's side, you have Omniscience, which can allow your show and tells to probably be good. Uh, you have Power Blast, which is irrelevant yeah. for the most part. You can name blue cards, but I mean, eh, or get blue cards. The opponent has one blue card. Fluster Storm doesn't come in. Grafter's Cage doesn't come in. Uh, Through the Breach might come in. Probably does. Uh, explosives maybe comes in for Candelabra and stuff. And then Blood Moon certainly comes in. So Blood Moon's going to be a pain in the butt for Killian, among other things. Uh, yeah. I just, after seeing that, I'm just... Yeah, it is at the MTG First Store, and spectators are allowed. Why would uh, you want to be a spectator when you can come and win the event? Because I know you would, Harmless Orchard. I don't even know who you are, but I know you would. I believe in you. Yep, How much there's about 60-some players here. I think they also have, like, a ADH thing going on in the back. All you have to do is spike a 67, 68-player tournament each time, and you get a bunch of money and, and glory. So come and do it. We want as many people here as possible. We want the best of the best playing. That's why we're not playing. We're trying to get the best of the best out there, and let's be honest, we no one wants to see that. We'd much rather be in a really sweaty closet commentating and hanging out with you guys. How many people are here, by the way? We have, drumroll please, uh, 95 viewers. Nice, nice. Thank you guys for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Somewhere across the world, someone is winning a Magic Gathering World Championship, and you decide to come and chill with us, watching a much better format. World is boring. Not even a real deck. I really just, I'm sorry, I just don't care about Standard at all. If you do, I appreciate you. You're, you're what keeps Magic popular for a lot of the newer players, but I just, I would be bored out of my mind. It feels like I'm just playing underpowered Magic. At every point. Yeah, Legacy is greater than all. Thank you, Washer Bleaks. You get me. Thank you. Hopefully. You touch my heart. You touch my heart saying thank you for streaming. You have to be playing a real four. That's true. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like, In all honesty, this is my favorite part of the month. Something I always look forward to. Bringing you guys Legacy coverage. We've had an excellent, excellent quest for power so far. Awesome decks on camera. Awesome plays. Some less than awesome plays. But entertaining. Yep. Yep, definitely, definitely super entertaining. Uh, Team Musashi, by the way, won the team tournament. I don't know what that gets them. Whoa, but spoilers! Gets them, gets them something. I don't know really what. Uh, all right, back to real magic. Uh, yeah, I mean, so Jeremy's a guy that he's been playing magic for longer than any of us. So we're not like we're not really like roasting him. We're just we're not really like yelling at him. We're just kind of like roasting him. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, and and the thing about Jeremy is, I'm I'm sure Jeremy would want to know that he made a mistake afterwards instead of just like. And I'm sure he'll he'll tell us the exact thing. He's like, yeah, I have no idea how Candelabra works. Like, And who could blame him, really? Who plays Candelabra except for Killian? You're the only other high tide player I know, and you don't even play high Candelabra. True. So, understand, when we say things like that, we're typically just roasting him and finding it funny. We're not actually, like, you know, being mean to Jeremy or, like, think that Jeremy is just a completely, you know, Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was just yeah. really funny from our perspective just watching, like, it was four consecutive turns that he could have just won. Yeah, it was. It was or like even the end step, Emrakul would have gotten there if you were worried about. Spoiler. Five cards. One of them was. Wait, he mulled five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's got surgical in hand. And it, yeah, I imagine this matchup's yep. terrible, but. Blue bib. blast on top. He pro hey, bib. Probably keep that. Yeah, uh, harmless orchid. We are here at the store. We are on site in the uh, extremely luxurious closet. All right. Fetch for a in in island. I always love players that know that they're never going to sell their deck and they're riffle shuffling. I hate that. I know you do. <laughs> Killian has the ever so powerful uh, primeval titan in hand. A very very. Ooh powerful. yeah, he has four prime times. That's my favorite card of all time. Slam jam. Fun fact about Kyle, the mono white player. Favorite card of all time: green six six. Love that card. Super sweet, cool art, yeah. cool ability. Played that, played the hell out of that card in standard. Even played it in modern. Unfortunately, it's pretty boring in modern. Doesn't get cool lands. It gets just blow you up lands. Gain a life. That's Gain what we're one talking life. about. Yeah, try to twenty one me now. Wait till he plays the second one and then he goes to twenty three and then the twenty two doesn't kill him. Twenty two Emrakul Grizzlebrand. Tournament got started, like, player meeting started around 11.15, and the tournament actually began, like, 11.30. So we've been at it for about three hours now. We've got a lot more to go here, and we're happy to bring it to you. Oh, Jeremy's fetched twice. My apologies. All right, let me get my island. The funny thing is, I am absolutely doing it, but I could not be wearing pants, and none of you would even know. Fetch, <laughs> fetch both islands. 
signals Blood Moon on the horizon. I mean, what's Killian supposed to do? He has to he has to have Blue Blast. He can't not have it. He can actually float into the Blood Moon. Yeah, I guess. Did you see what happened? No, I didn't get to watch it. Yeah, so our, Jeremy... Our boy Jeremy, his opponent has Caracas and Candelabra, so he can Caracas twice per turn. Okay. Jeremy has three red sources and a sneak attack. He can go em Emrakul, gets bounced, Emrakul, gets bounced, Emrakul. Okay. For four consecutive turns, he puts it in twice, but not the third time. He has a pedal, so we just think he just <laughs> didn't know what Candelabra Connors did. Yeah. And we're just sitting there, we're like pulling our hair out, like what in the world? Does Not that it, it, at no point do we ever think that Killian could possibly get back in the game, but we we were, we were did Killian to... win that game? No, uh, no. Oh, okay. yeah, but it took five turns longer than it did. Killian actually at one point crop rotated, it got countered, and that left him with only two mana, so Jer or a Crocus on a land, so Jeremy couldn't even fear the third mm. the third candelabra activation. Maybe spirit guy. that couldn't happen anyway. But here we get yeah here at this point, um, Jeremy is on a mall to six, but Killian's on a mall to five. Oh, we have seven rounds. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was six. Sorry. How many, uh, what, what's your record right now? I'm 3 1. Three, hey! Hey! You're playing Good the mono red deck, right? Yeah. No. Nice. I thought you played Affinity. Hmm? I thought you played Affinity. No. I you just messing I, play, I, I have Aether Grid, whatever that card Close is. enough. I played in Affinity, Excuse so. Me. Thank you, Sarah, 1985. <laughs> Love that song, 1985. Great song. It draws Petal off the Ponder, so that's what's that bowling Pursuit? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, Mike gets me. Mike's a man was after it, my heart. It? So bring back Springsteen, Madonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Springsteen, Madonna, Jones, and Madonna. You've been preoccupied since. Grapple with the past. Ooh. Getting some. Yeah, do you know what this card does? Spice. Just off the top of your head. Is it like five into your graveyard? Mill three? three. Get a card from your graveyard and put it in your hand. Creature or land. Jeez. Might as well be the same thing. Ooh, he gets a cloud post Ooh. or a glimmer post or a map. It's probably the cloud post. Killian always innovating. Yeah. He, he was a fun opponent to play against. Yeah. For real. Uh, we had to put him on camera when he was 3-0. It's like, yeah. Yeah, okay, this is just mandatory. Yeah, he drew the omniscience, so we have sideboard and omniscience. I don't think he has a show until yet, though. He just has a sneak. He has a sneak attack. He has... He could have just jammed sneak. But Excuse then he me for... He, he, would actually get, he would actually get blasted. Blue blasted. Mm -hmm. b, -b, b blue bass. Got, 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 got Zagmer. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> And he's going to see the Blue Blast here, as well as a crop rotation, a surgical. And a prime time. Prime time is a little ways off from being cast as a problem. Yeah. I mean, because he needs, he needs another green source after that. Because right, he has to, be able to hold up Blue Blast. Excuse me. Unless you want to... I guess in theory you can... Yeah, you can't let that resolve. I was about to say, you can let it resolve and then Blue Blast it. That just doesn't seem right. Oh man, this is... This is I I just don't know how Killian wins. Like when does he turn the corner? It's not that he doesn't have answers. It's just when when can he actually do stuff? When he has the mana, then he then yeah. In. That just takes a while. It does it takes uh, so long. Wait, it's a combo did he deck. did he shuffle off of a brainstorm? I don't believe so. He did. Yeah, he resolved brainstorm as ponder. Oh. Uh. So mm, you want me to go grab a judge real yeah, quick? Just just run out and just ask what happened. Okay. Because I definitely saw him shuffle. Alright, so am I asking the players, like, hey, can you just stop say, hey, can you pause just, for a second and then yeah, get Yeah, just Chris? stop imagining you get Chris, yeah. Yeah, sorry. That, that's, like, one of those things that, like, is such a weird... Like, the, the activating a death rate off Valk earlier was, like, mm -hmm. oh, and then we turned out we were wrong. I, I, sorry, there, pause, and I have Chris coming. Okay, okay. sweet. Yeah. He, he was off to Brainstorm, and then me and the chat assumed, the believed we just watched him shuffle with no fetch line. Mm -hmm. He just... Resolved brainstorm ponder basically. basically in the yard, but say one more time, sorry. He cast brainstorm, okay. put two cards back, and then shuffled. Oh, okay. Just ask about the sequence of events and yep. why he shuffled his library. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's all possible we missed something as well. Yeah, so. and that's yeah. You know what I'd hate to do? Or he eaten just thought it was spiders. ponder. Oh god, eaten by spiders. Oh. Horrifying card. There's that's an terrible. eaten by spiders just taped up back here for no reason, yeah. which is pretty it's great. Probably, it's probably because there's like a shit ton of spiders back here. I'll see you guys. Well, well thanks, <laughs> thanks for scaring Brian out of his mind. Yeah, I don't really so mind. I, I want to kind of hear the outcome of this, but... Uh, Do you want me to go out there and just hear what's going on at the table? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens when they move on. But uh, okay. Yeah, I think it's it's entirely possible this is a mistake. So, a little fun fact here. I have once resolved the card Ponder as a dig-through time. <laughs> so that's a little more egregious. 
Yeah, he's curious himself to, or I, th I think we're we're trying to figure this out now as well. Obviously, Jeremy. I I just want everyone to know. Obviously, Jeremy didn't do it on purpose. If that is what happened, and we misunderstand this, and Jeremy is a very nice guy. I played against him a million times, and he's a very he. You know. Yeah, he, follows yeah. the rules. Yeah, pretty pretty. He thought it was a ponder. See, he even treated it like one. <laughs> the only way to fix it is to give Killian two club versus compensation. <laughs> I think Jeremy would take that trade aid of the week, honestly. Yeah, I, it, so I'm a judge, but this is a, kind of one of those situations where it's hard to f figure out what the fix is. Did he... It is... The simple answer is game rule violation, but, you know, not much you can do. It's up that. to Chris's discretion, I think, basically, as to what the result is. I think this is our first ever, like, big judge call, though, on camera, so... This yeah, I, I don't know how to resolve this. And, I, again, we are unlike... I think one of the worst things we ever saw was uh, Pat Chapin. He was at a Pro Tour, and he made a misplay, obviously. He, like, put in a Johnny card into hand when it was supposed to be revealed. And they, they like, commentated on, like, uh, whether Pat was, like, doing it intentionally or all this stuff. That's not what we're doing here. I, we don't think for a second Jeremy did it intentionally. We just think that this happened, and now what the resolution is is going to be to Chris's discretion. Um, it was certainly an accident... He resolved it just like a ponder. He put three cards back, drew. You, you he know, probably just thought it was a ponder. Yeah. Sometimes you just like don't you, remember what your cantrips are. Very hand. interchangeable, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, we're really just curious about the outcome. Less about like. Sometimes you cast ponder, look at the top seven, and put two in your hand. <laughs> yeah. Twitch cat, just get this case. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah. Yeah, it might, it might end up being. We'll see in a second. It's up to Chris's discretion. He's the one who's going to decide. And Chris is a, a good judge. He'll... It's not? Okay. So their ruling is that he just has to put two cards back? That's weird. Strange. All right, we'll, we'll just assume that Chris knows what he's talking about. He is the judge after all. And that's how we're going to go about it. And we're not going to question it at all because it's it's his his ruling. He's, he's the judge, and that's the final word. Okay. Yep. With situations like that, there's no fix. You can't ever repair the problem that's been dealt. But it was a warning. That's yep. the end of the story. It's over. Okay. So he drew a sneak attack. He's drawing his other. He's drawing another omniscience. Killing's just drawing and passing the turn. He can't really move. Um... Uh, yeah. So okay, Killian now can. Well, he could, I was saying he could run out Primeval Titan there. I don't know what these players are going to do now, though. Yep, a very strange course of events. And now they're both sitting there, even though Jeremy can play and activate sneak attack. I mean, it can get blue blasted, and he knows it. And what he doesn't know is it can get K gripped. Yeah, this has now become a really weird match. I don't even know what the res like who's favored. We just got so distracted by that moment that they just have been taking their turns now at lightning speed, like draw go, draw go, draw go, and now they're like finally casting stuff. It's a ponder, which is a shuffle, and that was a ponder. <laughs> um, let's see what we see here. <laughs> anyway. Um, so how much mana does Killian have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I don't know what he's building towards. Is it Emrakul? I don't know what either of these players are. Like Killian's the master of this deck, so I'm just more curious as to how how he wins. What does he do? You know? Yeah, so it's just kind of a baffling game anyway. Why isn't Jeremy calling for sneak attack? Hmm. Is he cropping for a, a cloud post? Or I. I like Cloud Post here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now he's got 11 mana. Is he even a Wolmog? The Ceaseless Hunger. That doesn't really do much here, though, does it? Exiles both red sources. Draws These another, guys are 3 0. Another Primeval Titan. Why would you not play Primeval Titan at this point? You here you have to, I think. Yeah. 6 mana. I mean, uncounterable Titan, like, is your opponent really going to counter it anyway? Yeah, it's Karak Karakas Eye. Yeah. yeah, so Jeremy's hand is... Yeah, Jeremy's hand is Sneak Attack, Omniscience, Double Grizzlebrand, now Brainstorm. Like, again, 
I know for a fact Jeremy's had the ability to go for it for multiple turns. I just have. He knows about the blue blast though, so he can't ever resolve it. He didn't have force. No, he doesn't have a force will now either. It's got a ton of petals, like a a literal garden of petals. <laughs> yeah, but he's, he's, like, he's like, what am I shuffling? Here for? He doesn't even have a show and tell either. Ah, oh, bah humbug. This might actually be Killian winning with a six six attacker against the combo deck. Six six four six that he played with turn ten. Oh my gosh, guys! I'm so here. sorry. Someone just walked into this building with food. I can smell it through the door, and you have no idea how hungry we are. I, oh, sorry. Just mild. He zone. can make a black lotus with all this stuff. He can make something better than black lotus. It produces any colors. Make white. Make 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 yeah. make white. Make black. Wait. Make green. Every guess color but the ones. Mage or siege runner with a petal. Pedal. Pedal. Land. Hard Grizz Omniscience? I heard him from out there. Alright, well, I can't blue blast that. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Okay, we, we appreciate you, Chris. Alright, so Jeremy I, gets away with it. Sorry. What just happened? Hard cast on. Oh, wait, we're responding. That's not... Oh, wait, wait. So that... I'm so confused right now. Who... I know what happened. I just... Who's Jeremy winning? Jeremy Hardcast on the... 1, I know. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Cast it. He easy. lost two off of the Ancient Tomb. Easy game. Easy life. I've never seen anyone Hardcast an Omniscience. Have you ever seen that before? Didn't we just watch it the last quest for power? I thought somebody did. Hardcast? No. Surgical of the Omnis. Go to 19. My hand is Sneak Attack Grizzlebrand. Oh no! Killian's dead, isn't he? No, he's not. He has that Misty Rainforest, so he can still beb the sneak. Okay. <sighs> what a baffling turn of events. Oh my god. Guys, guys, if you're watching this. Tell me this isn't one of the coolest games that you've ever seen in Legacy. This man hard cast omniscience in response He's to the Emrakul trigger. things that aren't even allowed in by the game. In response to the Emrakul the trigger, it got K-gripped. And then he gets to see a hand after he surgicals. And then he can crock his the... Sneak Joe's serious skill testing. Look, we never said it was the best deck. Okay. I'm so confused right now. I've never... My mind is just blown. I'm sorry. I know that everyone else was like, girl, we get what happened, but that is just the cool... He hard cast on oh, It's happened before. It's, it will happen again. Tell me, tell me what's happened before. I've seen it. No, you haven't. I have. When? Many times. Let's show Many times? You won't run that by me More again. More than once. Look, got me. Sneak ruins it. Yeah, good answer. Well, no, because he has the bed. He has a blue blast. There's, there's a misty, like, off screen. Who's eternally blue? Eternally blue. I, I feel like I know you, but I'm a sad person. <gasps> it does happen, but why are we not excited when cast, it he's happens? Gonna cast, he's gonna cast it, it's gonna get bebbed. He knows it's gonna get bebbed too. <gasps> does does he not have a blue? Drop? He doesn't have a blue source. Oh, he has Island, yeah. No, he didn't get it. What? Yeah. Are we responding to the activation? That doesn't make any sense. There's no way he's doing that. Because he's dead if he does. Yeah, he's saying because because Jeremy was just rushing through it. Force will he drew it. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Yeah. Wait, how does he have a? He doesn't have a mana. Oh my god. Did he cheat? No, he had a pedal, Brian. One, two, three, four, five for the force. One, two, three, four for this. One for the activation. Oh, he just tapped the. Yeah. Hulk preemptively, huh? Wow. Yeah, this is the dumbest game I've ever watched. You're right, Keith. Also, no. congrats, Keith, on uh, getting married. Haven't had a chance to talk to you yet, but congrats on that. Yeah, seriously, congratulations, Keith. Oh, right, yeah, that was Good the luck, stupidest thing I've ever seen. These are things just being annoying. Uh, that was really quite dumb. I thought that was really cool. I thought that was exciting and cool. Yeah, so he had he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the pedal. So five plus five, yep. I thought that was really cool. That was how often do you see a hard cast 
how often do you see a 12 post opponent play a primeval Excuse titan me. and then a hard cast omniscience lead to a hard cast emerical where he drew perfect right, see if we can find a backup man yeah i'm gonna run out there and see what I can try to snag one of them wow yeah i don't really know what to say about that